Hey everyone, it's Victoria and I am coming to you from New York City and today I'd like to talk about weight gain on a vegan diet. Veganism and the isms behind the vegan, you know what I mean? Like I just want to clarify how I feel about certain diets and certain lifestyles and how I've evolved and what I've done with my journey to a plant-based diet. Um, so when I first started going um, into a raw food diet, I started feeling great and I got all into it and I started buying all the recipe books and what did I do? I made all these high fat raw vegan things and I was so into it. I was like on that train to I am never going to get cancer and I'm going to be the healthiest person in the world and I'm going to be great and I'm going to lose weight and I'm going to feel amazing. Well, to some extent, that was true. I felt very, very alive. I felt very great on that diet, but it didn't last because how many nuts and seed recipes could I have made? I've started getting and feeling a little bit more lethargic and it wasn't the best optimal diet for my lifestyle. Veganism was something that I was also, once I got enlightened, uh, it took me 10 years to get enlightened, but once I finally did, I was just gung-ho about it and had to tell the world and I was just screaming it out through the, from the rooftops and I just wanted to convert everybody that I could, as much as I could. Could I have gotten the voice that I wanted on my YouTube account and Facebook? No, but I would deter, I would defer, I would refer, sorry. I would refer people to videos that were more popular and those videos were more edited than mine. They had more scientific proof and they had more to talk about. I still do that. Now, as far as veganism, as far as making it a cult or a religion in my life, I am not happy about doing that. I am not into any type of cult. I am not into shaming somebody because they're not eating or doing something a certain way that I believe to be optimal. Um, do I believe in veganism? I think that they've come a long way. I think that vegans have paved the way for so many, so many people and they have made life much more um, healthy and people have thrived on a vegan diet and lifestyle. Um, but in nature, I do not think that vegans exist in nature, okay? Like, I just don't think that everybody's fully vegan because if they're eating rice, I've said this in other videos, if they're eating rice and wheat, they're having, you know, other issues with, you know, rodents being killed and there is, you're not holier than thou is what I'm saying. If you're vegan, great, I applaud you, you're awesome, but don't be putting other people down. There's always gonna be somebody else that's doing something better than you are. So, you're not great. You're just doing what you're doing. And you're great for teaching people another way, but you're not great if you're putting people down because they're not doing everything you're doing. Now, I'm really satisfied if someone just goes meatless Monday. I'm really satisfied if somebody just takes it with a little bit of effort or interest because it took me a really long time to even get interested. I was kind of on the forced side because my husband really got turned off by the fact that I was eating animal products. So, I'm going to take a breath on that one, and I'm going to let you know that anything you do towards going plant-based is a good step in, the, in a great direction for the planet, for the animals, for your health. It is a very sustainable diet. There really is no reason to go back to animal products as far as um, meat and chicken. Um, I, I think that there are so many other options that you can go to before having those products if you really feel that you can't do it, then try maybe one day and see how you feel. And you know what? One day is better than no day at all. One meal is better than no meal at all. And I think that we should all applaud each other for doing that instead of putting them down for not doing it. A hundred percent. That is not an easy thing to ask somebody that's addicted to their food. It's not an easy thing to ask somebody to change their religion just because you think it's okay. And I am sure there are a lot of other protesters out there that you would not agree with. And if they just rammed it down your throat, you would not be too happy or pleased to do it, especially overnight. So I say give them the materials that they need. 
Give them the books that they might get enlightened by. Give them the documentaries like Earthlings or something that would wake them up more than what you're telling them because you're not a pro at everything that you're going to be talking about. You're not going to have scientific facts in front of you. You're not going to be able to tell them everything that needs to be said. I think it's very worthy to not have to take all the credit yourself and say, I turned him vegan. Why don't you just give the pros, you know, the job to do all the heavy lifting that they do and they've done all the research and then you could sit back and probably, you know, enjoy the plant that you planted because you planted that seed in their mind and you'll see somebody get enlightened over time. Maybe you won't, but at least you tried. And that's what I do. I don't ram it down someone's throat. I just bring it up. In the beginning, when I did ram it down throats, it really wasn't received very well. And I wasn't exactly going to get anywhere that way. I thought I was backfiring the whole thing, as it was for me. I was backfiring because... My husband really didn't like it, so I would sneak out and get me, and I would, you know, almost resent the fact that I had to change my way because somebody wanted me to. So I don't know if this is making sense to you, but to get into an ism or a cult, then make sure that you do it in a way where you're really not putting anybody down. There is definitely something wrong with putting people down for not doing what they're doing and not doing what you want them to do. Um, I feel like like vegans have come a long way, but then we've set ourselves back. I say we because I was part of it once. Set yourself back because you're putting people down and it's kind of not going to get the message across of peace and love. And that's really what you really want to do here because the world is, it's, it's a scary place and there are a lot of people that are angry and I feel like they're more aggressive because they're eating meat products and they're eating you know, animal products as a whole, I think that they just don't see it and they may not feel enlightened because they're bogged down with all those foods. Now, I'm not saying all meat eaters are not enlightened. Of course, I'm not saying that. I know many people that are meat eaters that are more calm than some vegans. And I think that there shouldn't be this war. There should just be what it is. And I think it's great that vegans now have a voice and they, they never did before. There's vegan options on airplanes, on menus, all over the world. People recognize what a vegan is and I think that's amazing. And for that, I applaud all vegans who have made the, pa the pavement and paved the way and pioneered. Um, what I don't like is that it's frowned upon people when they're eating animal products and you know, there's a whole lecture that goes on with it, and I think that it's not uh, conducive to what a vegan should stand for. And these are my thoughts on veganism, and you can take what you want out of it and do what you want out of it, but these are my thoughts because I've been vegan for a very long time. I don't call myself vegan anymore, which is a shame. I really wanted to um, because of uh, a lot of angry vegans out there that really just don't earn my respect. And they don't, they're, they're doing things in a way where they're not, it's not conducive to, way, to the way I think and feel. And I don't think that I want to be a part of a group of people that say things and put people down for doing something differently. I just don't want to be a part of any group like that. Having said that, I do have my opinions on plant-based diet and I think that it's the healthiest way the mo it's it's cruelty free and i do mention vegan meals on my and vegan restaurants and vegan options on my instagram and on my snapchats because i do want to promote it but i don't want to put people down for not doing it that's what i'm getting at here if you didn't take anything from this video and if i wasn't making sense and by rambling on that's basically what I'm saying. I'm saying that I don't want to put people down for not doing what I'm doing, but I do like to promote a healthy lifestyle. So that and also, can you gain weight being a vegan? Absolutely yes. Can you gain weight being a raw vegan? Absolutely yes. And I think that people should just calm down at the fact, and can people get sick on a raw vegan diet or a vegan diet? Absolutely yes but you have a smaller chance and you are also, you could fine tune the diet after a while. I've been eating at restaurants in New York City every single day and night and yes, I put on some pounds and yes, I am aware of it and I know I'm doing it, but
but I'm also maintaining because I'm exercising a lot. I'm counter, I'm balancing it out. But that's what I'm doing right now and I'm fully aware of it. And I think that, you know, if you're, gain, if you're gaining weight, look into it because you're probably doing something that you're not, you know, your body is just not happy with and it needs to like kind of figure things out. Or maybe you were really calorie restricting before and now you're eating and your body's finally getting a chance to hold on to that fat. So, or you have a thyroid problem, which I'm going to check when I get back to Hawaii in a few weeks because an endocrinologist could actually let me know and give me a snapshot into what's happening in my blood further than a regular blood test. So that's what I plan on doing to take care of myself. I hope you do the same. I hope you look into it and not rely on people's videos and what people are doing. You don't know the whole behind the scenes of what people are doing. They may show you uh, what I eat in a day video. It's not enough. They are just those are just snapshots, but you really do need to look further into what people are doing and not rely on a YouTube video to help you lose weight or get healthy. Just look into it with an endocrinologist and look into the foods you're eating, write it down, and that's what I have to say for now. Okay, everybody, signing off from New York. Take care. <laughs>